to the Wonder Space Show with Miss Natalie. In a place you want to discover, there's so much to uncover. Are you an explorer? Yes! Then join us on an adventure. All you need to do is look closely, think carefully. Solve many problems. Wait! That's not all. We are the Wonder Space. me with these symbols what do they mean that's right we have the recycling symbol we have addition subtraction multiplication and division you guys are so smart what's about the ones at the bottom danger and when we see this sign it usually means no no entry no exit what else can you think of Symbols are items, drawings, or pictures that tell us something about a meaning, idea, or message. As soon as you saw these, you knew what they meant. Symbols play an important role in our society. Like when an adult is driving, they look around for symbols and signs. Or when you're sending a message to a friend or typing a message to a friend with permission from your parents or teachers, you might use emojis or emoticons. These are symbols that might tell us how you feel. If you send an angry face, we know you're angry. If you send a heart, we might think that you really like it. So the emojis or symbols tell us how you feel. This is a form of visual communication. Ooh. In Ghana, we have very special symbols known as Edinkra symbols. The Akan word Edinkra literally means farewell or goodbye. Edinkra symbols have very important meanings. They are a visual way to show us or tell us about wise sayings, which are known as proverbs. Edinkra symbols and their meanings can be linked to folk tales, folk songs, and popular sayings. There are lots and lots of Adinkra symbols. My sheets here are filled with different types of Adinkra symbols, front and back. So many. Some of the popular ones that you may have heard before are Sankofa and Jingame. Do you know what they mean? Nowadays, Adinkra symbols can be found on things like sculptures, jewelry, furniture like stools, and more. Originally, the term Adinkra was used for cloth, a particular type of cloth known as Adinkra cloth. Many, many years ago, Adinkra cloth was reserved or kept aside for kings, Asante kings or kings of Akan kingdoms. As the years went by, more people within the Akan communities were able to wear the Adinkra cloth too, to special occasions and especially to funerals. The symbols on the cloth that are worn at places like funerals or other occasions are used to communicate messages to the guests or visitors. That sounds like a talking cloth. Adinkra symbols are truly fascinating. They've been carefully designed and crafted. Let's find out more about the important history of Adinkra symbols. Long, long ago, there was a king named Nana Kofi Adinkra. He was the leader of an old Akan state called Jaman, not German, Jaman, located in what is now the Bunu region of Ghana and parts of the Ivory Coast. The chief, Nana Kofi Adinkra, made the Asante Hene, the king of the Asante people, very angry. The Asante Hene at the time was known as Nana Osei Bonsu Penyin. But why was he so angry? Well, the king of Jaman asked his goldsmiths to make a copy of the golden stool. <gasps> the golden stool is a sacred stool and a symbol of the unity of the Asantes. No one was allowed to copy it, ever. 
This led to a war between the Asantes and the Germans. The Germans were later defeated and captured. Some of the skilled craftsmen among these people were captured and were said to introduce the art of making the Adinkra cloth with the patterns stamped on them to the Asante people. These patterns were later adopted and developed by the Asantes and became known as the Adinkra symbols. Wonder Space Explorers, is there any way that we can use Adinkra symbols in our everyday lives? Earlier in the lesson, we talked about Adinkra symbols and their meanings linking to things like proverbs, folk songs, and popular sayings. I have an idea. Can we link any of the Adinkra symbols to our Wonder Space song? Yay! Do you think we'll find any that communicate some of the ideas that we have in our Wonder Space song? Let's find out! Are you ready to sing along? Great! You guys are amazing. I want us to pay attention to a few words in the song. Discover and uncover. What are we discovering? New things, new knowledge. And there's another part of the song that we should pay attention to. Are you ready? We heard things like, look closely. We heard, think carefully. We also had solve many problems and lastly create. So Wonder Space Explorers are observant, ingenious, creative and wonderful. Now let's see if we can find any Adinkra symbols in my file of Adinkra symbols here that link to our song. Are you ready? Okay. So, according to our document here, we have a lot of them that link to the idea of thinking carefully or gaining new knowledge. Oh, I found one and it's called Dame Dame and it means intelligence or ingenuity. And that symbol, that's the symbol I was talking about. Okay, so we found one that might link to the idea of thinking carefully, thinking carefully. All right, let's see if I'll find more in my document over here. Oh, another one that talks about knowledge or wisdom. And it's known as Nyansapo which literally means wisdom not and it means wisdom ingenuity and intelligence and that's this symbol are you wise yes wonder space explorers are extremely wise we found two okay i found one that might link to the idea of Looking closely. Are we looking closely? Okay. And it's called Shemudria, which literally means measuring stick. And it talks about examining things closely and making sure that things are of great quality. You can think of something like perfection. So that's that symbol over here. And as Wonder Space Explorers, we should be always looking closely, taking notes and assessing the environment around us. Lastly, we have the idea about create, creating. Wonder Space Explorers are creative. Let's see if we can find one about creativity. Oh, there's one on the first page and it's called Anansin Tin Time which means spider's web and that literally means wisdom or creativity i love that one because wonder space explorers 
are creative. And when we look closely and think carefully and create new things, big or small, we solve problems. You've learned lots of new Adinkra symbols. They're not the usual common ones. They were the ones that we could link to our Wonder Space song or the idea of being a Wonder Space Explorer. I hope you learned a lot and I hope you remember some of the names or at least you remember the meanings. Wonder Space Explorers, we've already learned so much about Adinkra symbols. Can you guess what we're going to do next? Can you guess where we are going today? We're going to find out how to make a Dinkra cloth. We're going to meet a man who lives in Intonsu, which is a town in the Ashanti region, and he's going to show us how to, they make a Dinkra cloth. Now, I'm currently in Accra, and Intonsu is in the Ashanti region. So today, we're going out of Accra and to the Ashanti region. Buckle up for our adventure! Yay! behind us. I can't believe we actually made it here. Wonder Space Explorers, remember we talked about the symbols and their meanings? Look at this giant life-size board that has all the meanings on it. Um, let's see. Can you spot any of the ones we spoke about? And on this large board, we have the history. Remember we spoke about the story or the history of how Adinkra came to be? So this board has some of the history. And behind here, we have all these lovely strips of Adinkra cloth. It's so colorful. I can't wait to be printing with Mr. Paul, who's going to teach us how Adinkra prints are made. There's so many different strips, so many different colors, so many different designs, and all the different Adinkra symbols. Isn't it beautiful? Let's go and learn how they print. Come on. Wonder Space Explorers, we are heading to the section where they create the dye or the ink. Okay, so the process for making the dye is really interesting. Can you see the bark of this tree? It's known as the badia tree. Now what they do is that they soak it overnight in this. All right, can you see the, the liquid? When they soak it, they move it over to this pestle and mortar. Oops. And they pound it. So they pound, 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 pound. Am I doing a good job pounding? All right. And then you have this. So once you have this substance, then they move that back in here and soak it again. So there's lots of soaking to get the dye out. So when it's done soaking, they move it over. It, can you see the fire over there? All right. So they boil it for four hours and then they have to strain it. Oh, what are these? Oh, wow, these are the stamps. This is the Adinkrahini. And what other stamps are here? Oh, we have Instruma. Oh, wow, we have the Jinami. Can you see the color of the ink? It's quite dark. All right, let's see what happens next. Okay, so after they boil it for four hours, you have a liquid that looks like this. Woo! All right, Wonder Space Explorers, now Mr. Paul is going to teach us how he makes these different stamps. Here we can see some old calabash or gourd and he's going to show us how he carves them. Are you ready to see how he carves? Oh, that's a, can you see the shape of that? Oh, that's so cool. 
So these two gourds are from different places. This is from the northern part of Ghana and this you can find in the Ashanti region. So let's see how Mr. Paul carves. Oh, he has all his knives. He's a professional. Don't try this at home. Oh, can you see his toolbox with all his tools? So he's cutting out the squares to make the stamp. Oh, he's using a compass. He's using a sharp knife, but remember, he's a professional. Don't try this at home. Okay, so now he's cutting out the shapes. Mr. Paul is making the handle for the stamps because they're going to have to put the stamps in ink. So he's making the handles that you'd hold on to before you place the stamps in the ink. Wonder Space Explorers, Mr. Paul made this stamp just for us. All right, so this is where Mr. Paul creates the single strips or the strips and the fabric needed for our cloth. This is what we'll be printing on. It's time to stamp. The fun part is now. Let's go. Wonder Space Explorers, even more exciting parts. We get to make our own Wonder Space strip with the symbols that we talked about. So the ones about wisdom, the ones about looking closely, the ones about creativity. What color should I pick? There are so many choices. Huh. Which one should we use? Okay, I think I found one. Okay, so now we have to pick our symbols. Okay, so we're going to... Now Mr. Paul is letting me choose the stamps that we get to use. So we have Anansin Tin Time, which meant creativity. So that definitely has to feature on our clock. Let's put that down. What else did we talk about? We have some smaller ones. And this one was Shemudia, which was measuring stick. And remember we talked about listening carefully, um, looking closely, observation. So we can use this one for that. What else should we use? Um, 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 um. All right, guys, it's time to stamp. So Mr. Paul is putting it in the ink and I get to press it down. Woo! Yay, it works, it works, it works. Okay. All right, so we have iron. I need to make sure I press it down. Woohoo! Yay! Okay, what are we doing next? I need to hold the cloth down and press. Am I going in a straight line or is it getting crooked now? I love this. So this is our Wonder Space cloth, guys. Woohoo! I like our Wonder Space cloth. Woohoo! We are almost at the end of our strip. Yay! One last one. And then we are Wow, this is so beautiful. Thank
Thank you, Mr. Paul. It's so beautiful. We have our Wonder Space Club. I learned so much on our trip to Intonsu. We saw the process of how the Edinkra cloth is made. We saw the stamps and how it's dipped into the ink and how it's printed on the fabric. We saw so many colorful cloths and different types of Edinkra cloth. Which one was your favorite? Can you remember anything from the process we saw? That's right, the ink is made from the bark of a tree and it's referred to as a type of vegetable dye. What about the stamps? Those were so cool. They apparently are made from gourds or pieces of calabash, like this. And people like Mr. Paul carve into the calabash or the gourds and they end up with the Edinkra symbols on stamps. Now, do you know what time it is? It's time for our activity. And today, we're going to be making Edinkra stamps. We don't have wood and carving material, so we're going to use cardboard and foam paper, and we're going to make different stamps, and then we're going to have fun printing. Are you ready? Yeah! For our Edinkra printing and stamping activity, you're going to need a few items. You're going to need cardboard, foam paper, printouts of some Edinkra symbols that will make it easier. You're going to need scissors to cut those out. You're going to need some paint, watercolor will do. Some paint brushes, water, and some glue. Are we ready to start? Yeah! All right, are you ready to make your Adinkra stamps? You're going to try and make an Adinkra stamp like Mr. Paul. First, what you need to do is print out some Adinkra symbols. You can cut it out and then trace it on this foam paper. Okay, when you're done tracing, you can cut it out. Okay, so when you've cut it out, you can stick it on a piece of cardboard and then wait for it to dry. Now I have some examples here. So let's go ahead and get some paint on those and start stamping. Okay, we're going to start with the Shemudia. All right. You ready to print? Let's try. Yay! Next we have that one there. An ancient in time. Let's try that. So you're creating the same pattern. All right, next, this symbol, Mate Masse or Mate Massier. <laughs> Yay! I think it looks just as good as the professional stamps 
made by Mr. Paul. Go ahead and try it yourself and I can't wait to see your Adinkra stamps and your patterns that you make. Yay! We've learned so much today. What was your favorite Adinkra symbol? I think my favorite is the Jinyame, which means accept God or the supremacy of God. So God is really big. <laughs> Thank you for joining us today. Join us next time, but as I always say at the end of our lesson, Wonder Space Explorers are wonderful! Join us next time! Bye!